Hey everyone, this is Brad Royball and this is another video for Teals. Today we're going to be going over the do now for lesson 2.4 um, and this is a uh, little little walkthrough on debugging. So um, in this one we have a little game that's been set up already. I'm going to go ahead and move some stuff around and it looks like the whole point of the game is to basically have one player um, who would be Alonzo right here try to catch the blue dog which would be the other player on the right. Um, so there's three bugs apparently in this and I, I'm sort of doing it live. I honestly have no idea exactly what the bugs are in this in this match. Um, I'm going to start off by saying, and this is one thing I've seen on games before, so maybe it's cheating just a little bit. But again, because this uh, this unit's all about loops, in order for us to do anything in this script right here, we're going to need a loop to make sure that it continues to take input. So I'm going to press play real quick. And as you can see right now, the script doesn't do anything when play is clicked. It broadcast reset, and then it does nothing else. Um, if you kind of want it to continuous watch and continuously take input, you really do need this forever loop right here. So I'm going to go ahead and put this back inside. So as you can see before, when we press the flag, nothing really happened. It just stopped. Um, when we press the flag now, because we have this forever loop right here, this forever loop, tells um, the game or at least this script right here to continuously take input and continuously check these conditions so these blue blocks right here are looking for input so you can see right now if i press up alonzo right there on the left is moving up and if i press down alonzo is moving down so now with that forever loop it's actually taking that input and continuously checking these conditions um, i'm going to go ahead and click stop uh, another thing I can tell off the bat is that I have, and it looks like I want to take basically a lot of input, but it kind of seems like there's this weird nested input right here. So I'm going to click play one more time. And as you can see, it says if key left arrow press, the intention is that, and again, I'm pressing the left arrow right now, you can't see it, is that the um, character Alonzo right here on the left, and again, I'm press right, should be able to turn left, but you can see that doesn't happen. I'm going to press stop. The whole point is that the whole point of why it's not working is because we have this left arrow condition underneath this if uh, condition for the right arrow. So again, it's inside this tree. So we'd only be able to move left if we're currently moving right, which doesn't exactly make a lot of sense. So I'm going to go ahead and take this out. And I'm actually going to make sure it's right here instead. And again, I'm going to go ahead and press stop and I'm going to press play. Um, one of the best ways to debug, and again, you kind of see me do this live, is that the best way to debug, at least in my opinion, excuse me, is to basically try and, you know, actually play the game or try to actually use the snap script, continuously click and, and try to make it, you know, work in weird ways that maybe aren't intended. Um, I'm kind of moving the sprite around because I think I see in the script what the issue is. So we can see if I go to the left... I'm on the edge and I bounce. But if I go all the way down, you can see that we don't have anything. And again, I'm going to highlight it right here. As you can see where my mouse is, if the key down arrow is pressed, we don't have anything inside the script that's going to tell what happens with Alonzo if he goes too far down. Now, if I'm pressing left, you can see that it hits the wall and bounces. But if I go too far down, nothing happens. What I think I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and stop the script. I'm going to take this if on the edge bounce out. And I'm going to put it uh, right here. I'm going to put it right below this. So now this if on edge bounce is another if loop. It's just titled slightly differently. But you can see now if I go all the way down to the bottom, this forever loop, which again is really important when you want something that takes continuous input, is looking through all these if conditions. And it finds there's this if condition right here that says if you're on the edge bounce. And it doesn't have the precondition of saying, hey, if the left arrow is pressed, also do the same thing um, and so that is all for Alonzo if we check the blue dog which I already have a little bit you can see I sort of have the same thing set up it's just not exactly um, it's slightly different in what errors it has but as you can see like if I put the forever loop right here I think we're almost completely set up um, if you wanted two players in this you'd have to change it a little bit 
Um, but for the most part, uh, those are our bugs. And again, that's how you debug. You want to try to press play, actually get the script to work, try to do what's intended, and then see the different ways in which it doesn't work and try all these different conditions, try turning left, try turning right, and uh, see what part of the script doesn't really make sense when you trigger that input. And so that, students, is how we do lab, or I'm sorry, do now 2.4.